and uh, welcome back to another Researcher's World uh, at Home video. In our last video, we talked a little bit about surface tension and uh, whether uh, an object is hydrophilic or hydrophobic. This time, we'll actually find out if another liquid is hydrophilic or hydrophobic. So what we have here today is water, we have uh, sunflower oil, and then we also have olive oil. And so what we're going to do is we're going to mix these together and see what happens. First I'm going to pour water in the jars. And then I'm just going to pour some of this sunflower oil in this first jar. And I'm going to pour some olive oil in the second. So the reason I do this is because different oils mix differently with water. And I'll show you how. So first we want to just close up those jars, make sure they're tight so you don't make a mess in your house. And then you just shake the water and the oil so that it mixes all together. And you'll see that it's all mixed when it looks kind of frothy and, and you can't tell the difference between the two layers any longer. Whereas here, you can still tell that there's a difference between the water and the oil. And we're gonna shake that one up too. So here again, you see that it's foamy and cloudy, and that means that you have made an emulsion. And uh, while those settle out, we can kind of tell, you'll be able to see that this one the sunflower and the water mixture has already started to separate. And this one, even though it's been sitting for a shorter amount of time, has been separating out too. But what happens when we mix two oils together? Here we don't even need to mix the two together because you can see that they're already formed into one liquid. Because they're both fatty and they don't, they're both um, hydrophobic liquids, they mix together pretty well. Whereas if you're mixing two hydrophobic liquids with water, you get that separation between the two. As you can see, when you uh, mix a hydrophobic liquid like oil with water, there will always be that sort of separation because uh, it doesn't like to be with the water. So um, what you can also try with this water and oil is a test to see if it conducts electricity or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some more water into this little dish. And then I will pour some oil into this dish. And then we also have an at-home electricity conductor tester. So uh, we actually have another video that you can watch in case you want to make this for yourself at home. So first I'm going to test out this, uh, the olive oil to see if it conducts electricity. If it does, this little light should turn on. As you can see, nothing is happening. So, why don't we try the sunflower oil? And the same thing happens here. Uh, the oil is not able to conduct electricity. So lastly, we're going to test this at-home conductor with tap water. And we use tap water because it has more minerals in it that help conduct the electricity. And so as you can see, there's a faint light that shows up. So that's how you know that the water conducts electricity. So now it's your turn. You can try out different types of oil and water mixtures at home or just mixing different liquids together at home to see if they are hydrophilic or hydrophobic. And you can also test out different liquids to see if they conduct electricity, like juices or sodas. 
that is all the information that we have for you today. Be sure to check out another of our videos, and thanks for watching.